John Walsh, down Westport Quay. Yes. What are you down here tonight? Having the crack with the likes of raging yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you do a bit of uh, fixing up a boat, you do? I, I used to. You I'm used not to, yeah. doing much of it now. I do a little bit. And what kind of stuff would you do with them? Woodwork or...? No, mostly engines. And engines, yeah. Do a bit of woodwork. Yeah, and you weren't involved with that, this, no? No, I served my time in Coffers in Westport. But no paid stones? No, carving and cutting. Carving and cutting. I never left the yard much. Oh, so you, well, you'll be a stone... Stone mason. Stone mason, OK. Or as a monumental sculptor. Mm. That's the technical mm. word of it. Well, you've spent a lot of time around the quay here, haven't you? I was reared in Ross Bag. That's right. Yeah. And you're living not very far from here. My father worked in that party Finn's mill there for 37 years. Did he? The longest he one that was ever in. Yeah, yeah. And what used to do it on Pollock's Pol- Pol- Finn's mill? They made flour originally. It was flour, was it? Yeah. And what was the big high building for it? Why, why, did they, why was it so high? Because they, they used to have, have flour and different things on each floor and, and they chewed some it. You could, you could mix food or whole flour if you're making brown bread or anything. Mm. And uh, they processed the wheat. Different types, they're on different floors. Well, most of the wheat came from the north of Ireland to here, with the good lenders. By boat? By boat. Mm. And there was an escalator on the front of that building that bent down and into the boat, and there was a conveyor, conveyor belt with buckets on it. There was a conveyor belt, it yeah, wasn't was suction, no? No, there was a conveyor <coughs> belt. And they could move it around in the boat a bit. Were you ever in it? In the, in the building? Oh, all over yeah. yeah. And what was it like inside? Oh, it was a fine building. Mm. And what was in it? What was in it? Mm. It was filled with all types of meal because later they got out of, uh, what you call, they started doing that in Ballasadir. They had a sister place in Ballasadir, it was running across the road, they had both sides, they had a, a bridge across up high that they could go to both buildings. And who owned it? Uh, it was WGT and Pollock Finns and Sons. And Halls owned it. And which of them owned it first, or was it a com- combined thing? It, it was Pollock Finns, I think, first. And Halls took it over then? Halls took it over. And no. Halls was first, actually. Halls was first? Yeah, Halls was first, then Pollock Finns. But they had it for an awful long time. And were there many working in it? The, at one time, I'd say there'd be up to 13. 13, yeah. Yeah. And what did, what, when you went into the building, what did you see in there? Bags of flour? You wouldn't see any bag of flour much downstairs, only in a store at the back of it. They were all upstairs, because you run them down the chutes. Okay. Where they made it most of the prosecs upstairs. And was there much machinery in it? A lot of machinery. It was kind of automated, was it? Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be fully now. It was men working at everything. Mm. It was in later years that they got the automatic bagging plant. Mm. And do you know when it opened? No. And do you know well, when it closed? 1909, I think. And when did it close? Joe Morton worked in it. Yeah. Uh, Irene Reedy's father worked in it. He was a Pat Hastings. He lived up in Ross Bay beside us. You know that derelict house with John Joe Gavin does have the cattle up there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was Johnny Hambers originally. Well, it was Johnny's grandfather who was a John also. And Tom Hambry, Johnny and Billy's father, got smothered in that mill. He went down to shoot. Billy's father, yeah. yeah. Was he the only man to die in it, do you think, was he? Yeah. He then, you never heard he of him. smothered in it. It was cooked food. But after the weekend, the skin came on top and it wouldn't run. Mm-hmm. They were making oil cake in it. It was mm-hmm. for feeding cattle. They did dairy mm-hmm. nuts. They did all types of food for hens. Pigs, chickens, they made everything in it at the finish. They went into a mess, kind of got away from the flower because they were doing most of that in Bella City. Heart's Delight was one of the flowers that they done. 